Hello wrestling fans and welcome back to Tweet Wrestling, the world of retro wrestling. In this video we're going back to 1996-1997 with the Figures Inc. Wrestling Catalogue, issue number 147. Well it's an interesting catalogue that I've seen on eBay, it's full of Hasbro wrestling figures, other wrestling merchandise and I thought I'd knock one out of the park and show you what's inside. Here is a quick glance of the wrestling page, the wrestling cards, other bits of merchandise and taking a look at the prices way back then is quite scary. It's full of your wrestling superstars, it's full of all sorts of wrestling merchandise so I thought I'd grapple down, take a closer look and have a look through because it's quite um, an interesting viewing if you ask me. Uh, so we're going to do that today, we're going to have a look through but before then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Tweet Wrestling, the world of retro wrestling. Here you see it then, black and white, very simple, Figures Inc. wrestling catalogue featuring five of the wrestling greats, new wrestling items inside. Well, firstly, I'll just say these are my pickups recently, a cool ECW Sandman trading card. That is from the year 2000, I believe. Going back to 1995, and this is the Sabu BBM Japanese wrestling card, and I believe that, that one to be his rookie. Next up is a cool Powers of Pain Market Scene Superstars 1989 wrestling trading card. And I thought, you don't get many Powers of Pain trading cards together, so I had to get that one. Then these two retro WWF badges were in with this lot, so I've seen it, I clicked by it now, and I thought, why not take a punt and have a look what's inside. The second badge is in better condition, but hey, nice little addition from 1992. Let's take a look inside of the catalogue. Firstly, I love the front cover, very cool. Then you can just see there on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you've got your music. So what's up for grabs are prices. Then on your left hand side is like a welcoming note from the president what the content in the book is and a little bit more about the company so instantly fetching back the memories then it's the next page that grabs me on the left hand side is page two and what sticks out for me is the super slam wrestling ring with the bendy figures obviously you had the wwf jacks figures as well to the left and a few of the bendems on the left there as well so that was prominent for the time then heading up to the right hand side you got Vince McMahon action figure mint on card for $30 each incredible then lower down you got CMLL which is the Mexican wrestling buddies and the next page is where it's at for me and this was giving you a chance to complete your wrestling figure sets um, way before the internet should we say and uh, looking at the price of some of these mail away action figures here you got Hulk Hogan and The Undertaker priced at $100 and $125 each so huge investment if you picked up a load of them that $100 is now worth a thousand that $125 is close to five grand so wow I just wish I had uh, access to this back in 1997 then you see there the price of the action figures around the $30 mark $25 each and bearing in mind this is premium prices so this would be out what 97 before the internet or thereabouts and you could probably pick a little bit up on eBay market stalls for $10 each 10 quid less than that so you see all the action figures that we've got series 1 to 11 $25 each for the yellow card set red card set $25 for a mint on card Undertaker Bret Hart absolutely frightening prices aren't they it's only $15 for series 9 which is a purple set same again there with series 10 set for the HBK and Razor then it's $35 each for your green series except for one two three kid which is sixty five dollars see all the action figures there 
And one thing I do notice about this book is that Andre the Giant is priced at $125, which is, well, it's um, mail away prices really. But back then, Andre was sought after. People loved chasing after Andre figures. Next page. You got some of your WCW San Francisco toy maker stuff there. Right hand side, you got a Hulk Hogan matchbox car. Then at the bottom, you got your WrestleMania Championship wrestling belt. And this stuff's $30, $15, $20 for figures, mint on card. And it just goes to show that in time, items do go up in value. People do desire them more and they do get harder to find. On the right hand side, page seven, this one is an interesting one for me. So you got your wrestling trading cards and the pogs there on the screen. The Undertaker pogs, which are extremely rare. Then your packets of cards, which are two dollars uh sealed sets for forty dollars and there's other little bits there's an undertaker action pack from 1994 there a prototype for five dollars each same with the macho man it's quite frightening the prices if you ask me but it's nice to know that you could complete your sets way back in 96 97 and there was alternative catalogs to silver vision and the wwf catalog too so prices are all there, $1 for a pack of cards, somewhere like $15 for a, a set, $15 for a box. It's quite unbelievable when you look back. And the next page features bits there on magazines. I see there's a deluxe uh, poster books, Ultimate Warrior bits, party bags, a life-size picture of The Undertaker, or a poster should we say. And that's quite interesting. Uh, I won't want one of them in my back garden, let's face it. It'll scare away the kids. So, a fun little magazine gives us an insight to how things were close to 30 years ago now. Sorry to break that one to you. WCW 1991 Wrestling Market Trading Cards. What is it there? $15 a box? Unbelievable. You wouldn't get that today, would you? Then, of course, you've got your miscellaneous bits there on the right-hand side. Odds and sods of wrestling. Makes for a, a cool little catalogue. And I'm sure with this company, if you'd phoned them up, say, hey, could you help me find a certain piece? I need this, I need that. They're doing right on it and uh, got you sorted out straight away. Then on the back, that's where you order. So a Rhode Island company from the USA. Send it away. Add your credit card details if you're feeling brave. And of course, wait three months for it to arrive. So that's a video. Nice, cool little bit. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look. That's all i got to say. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Tweet Wrestling. Goodbye for now.